Good day once again, my name is Gafis. Now we'll be constructing an helix. We know that an, an helix is the locus of a point which moves around the circumference of a right cylinder. So let's start. Question 17 is telling me that draw one complete turn for right hand and left hand helices. 44 millimeter diameter and 72 millimeter lead. Now let's see how it goes. So the first thing you do is to draw an horizontal and vertical axis. That is the first thing you do. Now we are told that the diameter of the helix is what? 44 millimeter. That means the radius is what? 22. So you take your compass and you measure 22. So if I place my compass here, I measure 22. This 22 here. And I'll come to the center here where the two line meets, and I'm going to draw my circle. So there's my circle, faint line there. Right now, we are told to draw a right hand and left hand ellis. Now, what I'll do is this I'm going to draw an horizontal line. Because we are told that the lead is what? 72 millimeter. So, and what is the lead? The lead, the lead is the axial movement during one revolution, right? The axial, axial movement during one revolution. So, we are going to come here and we draw our horizontal line from this point, right? We are going to draw it like this faint line to the left and also what to the right so that is one of the step here now at any distance probably and i take any reasonable distance maybe five or ten and i'll place it at this edge here just a reasonable one and i'll mark to the left and I also mark to the right. Right? So and I'll take my set square and I'm going to project it up from that point, the baseline here. Right? Can you see? I'll go to the other point too. I'm going to project it up too. And I'm going to do similar things I did up here. So, at the top of this circle, I place my T square there, and I'm going to draw this. Are we good? Now, doing that, and I'm going to clean off the connection with the circle. So, here is free, right? So, what I'll do is this now. I'm going to say the lead is what? 72. I'll measure from the beginning of this line, I'll measure 72, and I'll measure from this point here also, I'll measure 72. So this is how I'm going about it. So, taking my ruler, I'll place it at the beginning here, I see zero, and let me show you very well. So, zero to what? 72 here. Can you see 72? At this point is my 72. And I'll come here to the same thing too. I'll do here too. I'll measure 72 too from that point. So this is the zero here. I'm going to measure 72 here. This is 72 here. So this is 72. Are we good? So after that, I'm going to close up the box. I close it up.
Now when I do that, I've got in the box this way. I might end up cleaning the extra edge here, like this. So, now the next thing after I've tidied up the extra edge here, I'm going to divide my circle into 12. I'll divide the circle here into 12. So I can use my square square, or I can use my compass. So if I place my square square this way, I'm going to draw it this way. I'll turn it the other way around. It's on the T square. Remember that. So this it here. And I'll lie it down. Around this. And I'm going to turn it. Have this two, this will be zero, one, two, two, that is it, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'll also divide this seventy two, which is my lead, don't forget, from here to here, seventy two, and that's given as my lead. So I'll divide it into traffic equal parts. So I'm going to use my line division. And look at how I'm going to do that, right? So I'll place it this way. Let me zoom that. Let me zoom that. So I'll place at any given angle. I'm going to draw a line like this. Can you see that? Then. I'm going to use my compass and take any given what radius. It'll be very small. And I'll place it here. Let me say five millimeter radius. And I'll place it at the beginning of this line point here. I'm going to mark one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, then twelve. So I need to extend it a little bit more. So the next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to join this last point here because I'm measuring from here to here. So I'll join the last point here to the last point here, right? So I'll put this place this way. So when I join them, I don't have to move my set square, this set square anymore. Hold it straight. The next thing I'll do is this. I'm going to place. I'm going to place the other one here. This other set square. I place at the base. Here. Can you see? I place at the base now, they are now interlocking each other. So, what will I do? I'll be moving this on this, this way. If I move this, I'll go to the next point like this. So, let's see that and how it goes. I'll move to the next point. So, let's see that. So, let's see what will happen. I'm going back to where I was. So, I'm going to move it from this, moving it on my T square, my set square. I'll draw this. I'll move to the next point too. So, it will be the. I'll move it. Move to the next point. I'll move this. Go to the next point. I'll move it. I'll move it again to the next point. I move it. I move my next point. I move it. I'm moving it. So, what do you notice? This is moving. Why this?
why this other one down here this one here is remaining constant so i'm moving it like this can you see i'm moving it on it like this so we're going back so i'll go to the next point i'll move to the next point I'll move it to the next point I move to the next point. So I've done that. This is what we call our line division. So this first point, all those points now, I am going to join them vertically upwards, like this. So from here, I'll take this first point. Look at it. I'll take this first point here, take it out for to touch here, mm -hmm. the diamond here, the next point, take it to touch here, so I'll do it for every point, every point, every point. Every point, every point, every point, every point, so that is what you do. So you play, replicate what you did here. You did it in the other place here. So you repl replicate it here. Can you see that? So what you do is, you call this point. This is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You do the same thing here too. Zero right so so that is what you have right so successfully replicated the two of them there so we've done that now the next thing we have to do we need to move our line from the circle you move it to this point but one thing you need to understand the not necessarily that you use if you can divide it successfully no problem but one of the best ways you should divide your line is using line division method here. So from here, from 6, this is 6, the top topmost line here is 6. Then the next one is 5 and 7 on the same point. So I'll move it here and I'll stop here. Losing 5 and 6. The next one is 4 and 8, like this. Can you see that? So I'm going to move it here, and I'll move it here. The next one is already there, 9 and 3 is there. The next one is 2 and 10, which is this 2 here like this. So I'm going to move. Right. Can you see that? So the next one is um, 11 and 1, so 11 and 1 here, right, I'll move it, so 0 is already there, is that taken? So what you need to do now is start moving, this is point 0, right, and 0, you're on the same point, let me show you that very well. So the next one is one and one. Or well, you just take them up that way. You move them up and ensure that what? No point no two point on the line. No point two point on the what? On the line. That's the king. So if you notice it, we're having a figure like this. You join all these points using what? your French curve like this.
So by joining them, you'll be having this figure. Join them with your French cuff. You're having that figure. You call it the helix here, right? Now, we do the same thing for the other one too. This is zero, right? So you start moving up. Zero to the next line, to this next line, to this next line, to the next line. Ensure there are no two points on the line. Ensure there are no two points on the line. Right? So we we'll use our French curve to join all these points together. And let's just what we'll do here and see how I am going to do that. So if you see now all the points here now are joined. If you want to follow it that way around, this is zero, zero meet point zero, right? Then one is meeting point one, two is meeting point two, three is meeting point three, four is meeting point four. 5 meeting point 5, 6 meeting point 6, 7 is also meeting point 7. Can you see that? So and so on. Or you just follow that method I showed you. So you join them using your French curve. So this is it. Please use your French curve to connect that. Ellis. Now one thing to understand I want to show you here is this. This is called a right hand and a left hand Ellis. Now which one is the right hand? Which one is the left hand? Now, if I have a circle this way, Watch. If I divide the circle into two, now look at my illustration here. If I divide the circle into two, hmm, this is at my right hand side, this is at my left hand side. If I project to this side here, whatever is on this side, I call it my right hand ellipse right so automatically this side is the right hand and if i project it to this side whatever is this side is called what my left hand word left hand ellipse right so what it means is this if i have a circle this way what it means is this if i have um if i have a circle this way a semicircle hmm? this is right hand so whatever i project to this side is called right hand. If I have another hand this way, hmm, this is what left hand. So whatever I project to this side is called left hand. Are we good? So this is my right hand Ellis, and this is my left hand Ellis. Thanks for watching.